What exactly is a micro pocket bully? You might have seen one or two of the most common types of American bullies out of the many that exist. The micro bully is one type of bully that is spreading like wildfire. What do though is a micro bully? How can you tell it apart from the pocket bully, its family cousin? The distinction between a micro bully and a pocket bully will be covered in this video. By the end, you ought to be able to identify the best kind of bully for you among each type. Do you want to know the distinction between a micro bully and a pocket bully? The practice of selective breeding in dogs has grown in popularity as science and technology advance. Due to this selective breeding from various dog lineages, including the American Pit Bull Terrier and other Bulldog breeds, different types of American bullies have emerged. Knowing the differences between the various American bully breed types is crucial, particularly if you intend to buy or adopt one. The distinction between the two most common varieties of American bullies, the pocket bully and the micro bully, will be covered in this article. Lineage of the micro bully versus pocket bully. American Pit Bull Terrier and other Bulldog breeds were mixed to create the American bully breeds of dogs. An alias for the American Pit Bull Terrier is bully. The overall physique and traits of these bully breeds are influenced by a variety of dog breeds, including the English Bulldog, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and even the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. When compared to other canine relatives like the American Bulldog, French Bulldog, Exotic Bulldog, Patadale Terrier, and American Pit Bull Terrier, pocket bullies and micro bullies may display traits and actions that are similar to those of those canines. Pocket Bully versus Micro Bully Physical Characteristics There are a lot of physical similarities among these mixed breed dogs. The muscular bodies of American Bully dogs have thick necks, wide chests, and short legs. Additionally, both of the dogs are short legged and stocky. Typically, their skin is tight and barely wrinkled. The standard American Bully has been downsized into the Pocket Bully. In comparison to their standard American bully cousins, pocket bullies are not as muscular. However, it is a smaller dog with shorter legs. The smallest variety of exotic bully is called a micro bully. They resemble an American bully physically, but on a smaller scale. Moreover, their legs are shorter. The following are some significant physical distinctions between the pocket American bully and the micro American bully dog breeds. Head the micro bully's head is smaller than the pocket bully's. The diameter ratio of pocket bully dogs is typically 60% or higher compared to their shoulder height. On the other hand, the micro bully has a smaller head. The diameter to shoulder height ratio for them is typically 50% or less. Eyes. American pocket bullies typically have round eyes that are widely spaced apart. A micro bully has white set eyes that are more almond shaped than round. Ears. Pocket bullies typically have cropped ears that are high on the head. MICR bullies also have high set ears, but they typically have natural, uncropped ears. Tail. The medium to long tail of a pocket bully is typically ducked. A micro bully typically has a short, natural tail. Coat. The coat of the pocket dog breed is short and smooth. The micro bully has a smooth, short to medium length coat. Size. A body built. One of the key physical characteristics of an American bully is a muscular body. For pocket bullies and micro bullies, this is particularly true. Large in size is the standard American bully. A smaller version of the standard American bully, the pocket American bully typically weighs 30 to 50 pounds. The smallest variety of American bully is called a micro bully. Typically, they weigh 20 to 40 pounds. Both bully breeds have muscular bodies, wide chests, thick necks, and short legs as physical characteristics. Additionally, both of the dogs are short-legged and stocky. The Pocket Bully is a scaled-down version of the standard American Bully, which is primarily how the two differ from one another. The Micro Bully is also the smallest variety of American Bully. Size Comparison of Micro and Pocket Bullies Although there are many physical similarities between these American Bully dog breeds, there are some significant size variations. 
A smaller version of the standard American bully, the pocket American bully typically weighs 30 to 50 pounds. The micro bully, which typically weighs between 20 and 40 pounds, is the smallest variety of American bully. The pocket bully is noticeably bigger than the micro bully in terms of size. Also noteworthy is the existence of a hybrid breed called the micro exotic bully, which weighs 35 to 50 pounds on average. Health and care, microbullying versus pocket bullying. In general, American bullies are a healthy dog breed. However, they are prone to certain medical conditions, just like all dogs. Bully breeds have a reputation for having a muscular build, but they don't have a reputation for being an especially active dog breed. The most prevalent health conditions that affect American pocket and micro bully are as follows. Dermatitis mutants. Demodectic mange, also known as demodicosis, is a skin condition brought on by the Demodex canis mite. All healthy dogs have a small amount of this mite. However, the mite can produce a lot of offspring and result in mange when a dog's immune system is compromised. Neither humans nor other animals can contract demodectic mange. But if your dog exhibits demodicosis, you must get medical attention right away because it can cause secondary infections. Demodectic mange symptoms include Asterisk hair fall Scaling asterisk Asterisk cratins Asterisk color red Itching Chernobyl eye The tear gland in the third eyelid is impacted by the condition known as cherry eye. A tiny gland that produces tears is housed within the third eyelid, which is situated in the inner corner of the eye. This gland becomes prolapsed and visible in dogs who have cherry eyes. Especially in young dogs, American bullies frequently suffer from cherry eye. However, if your dog develops cherry eye, you must immediately take him to the vet as it can result in further, more serious health issues. The following are some cherry eye symptoms. An enlarged third eyelid. Asterisk tearful. Asterisk color red. Note, inflammation. Dysplastic hips. A condition that affects the hip joint is hip dysplasia. Dogs with hip dysplasia experience pain and lameness because the hip joint does not develop normally. Although hip dysplasia is inherited, environmental factors like obesity can also contribute to its development. In American bullies, hip dysplasia is a common condition. Hip dysplasia signs and symptoms include 1. Lameness Asterisk pain Asterisk firmness Asterisk rising difficulty A dysplastic elbow The elbow joint is impacted by the condition known as elbow dysplasia. Dogs with elbow dysplasia experience pain and lameness because the elbow bones do not develop properly. Although obesity is one environmental factor that can contribute to elbow dysplasia, it is also inherited. In American bullies, elbow dysplasia is a common condition. Elbow dysplasia signs and symptoms include 1. Lameness Asterisk pain Asterisk firmness Cardiac murmur When the heart is being examined with a stethoscope, an abnormal sound called a heart murmur can be heard. Blood flow disturbances that cause heart murmurs are frequently benign. A heart murmur, however, may occasionally indicate a serious underlying cardiac condition. American bullies frequently have heart murmurs. The majority of heart murmurs, though, are benign and do not need to be treated. Heart murmur signs and symptoms include Asterisk an unusual sound when using a stethoscope to listen to the heart. Asterisk breathing problems. Asterisk tolerance to exercise. Asterisk tiredness. Boas. Canines with short, broad skulls are susceptible to a condition known as brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome, boas. Dogs with boas frequently have too long soft palates and narrow nostrils. Breathing issues may result from these anatomical anomalies, especially when exercising. Boas is a prevalent ailment among American bullies. Boa's symptoms include a snorer, panting asterisk, asterisk tolerance to exercise, asterisk trouble breathing, dental issues, 
Dental issues like gum disease, tartar buildup, and overcrowding are common in American bullies. Regular tooth brushing and professional dental cleaning by your dog's veterinarian are essential. American bullies frequently experience dental issues. Among the signs of dental issues are Poor breath Brown or yellow teeth Tartar accumulation Asterisk gum sensitivity Patella luxation The kneecap is impacted by the condition known as luxating patella. When a dog's patella luxates, the kneecap moves out of its normal position. Trauma can also contribute to the hereditary condition known as luxating patella. A relatively typical condition in American bullies is luxating patella. The following are signs of a luxating patella. 1. Lameness. Asterisk pain. Asterisk rising difficulty. Asterisk a skip or hop gait. Obesity. A common issue with the American bully breed is obesity. Obesity can cause a number of health problems, including joint issues, breathing problems, and cardiovascular disease. It's crucial to give your American bully a balanced diet and lots of exercise. Obesity symptoms include Asterisk abundant body fat Asterisk trouble breathing Asterisk tolerance to exercise Asterisk joint ache Arrhythmia An irregular heartbeat is known as an arrhythmia. Stress, heart disease, and electrolyte imbalances are a few of the causes of arrhythmias. In American bullies, arrhythmias are relatively common. However, the majority of arrhythmias are harmless and do not need to be treated. Arrhythmia signs and symptoms include Asterisk and irregular heartbeat Asterisk breathing problems Asterisk tolerance to exercise Cancer all dog breeds are susceptible to the disease cancer. American bullies are particularly prone to certain cancers, including lymphoma and bone cancer. A serious condition that can be fatal is cancer. For the best results, early detection and treatment are crucial. Cancer symptoms include 1. Lameness Asterisk losing weight Asterisk appetite loss Asterisk laziness just a few of the health problems that American bullies frequently experience. Like many dog breeds, the exotic bully can live longer and be in better health with responsible breeding methods and routine veterinary care. With proper care and routine veterinary exams, the majority of American bullies live long, healthy lives. How should American bully dog breeds be cared for? To maintain their health and best appearance, these mixed breed dogs need some level of grooming, just like other dog breeds. The American Bully needs to be properly groomed in order to Bathing As needed, give your American Bulldog a bath with a shampoo made for dogs. Allergies, hot spots, and skin infections are a few medical conditions for which you might need to bathe your Bully more frequently. Brushing to avoid dental issues, brush your American Bully's teeth at least once per week. You are aware that one of this dog breed's most prevalent health problems is tartar buildup. Trim your nails. To avoid overgrowth, trim your American Bully's nails every few weeks. Your dog's nails are probably too long if you can hear them clicking on the floor. Clean your ears. To avoid ear infections, clean your American Bully's ears once per week. Wax buildup and debris can result in hearing issues as well as other ear health problems. Expression of the anal gland Your American bully needs to have their anal glands expressed frequently. It can be carried out by a professional groomer or at home. The health and coat type of each dog will determine their specific grooming requirements, as with any mixed breed. Make sure to discuss the ideal grooming schedule for your bully with your veterinarian or a trained professional groomer. The advantages of a healthy dog. Many advantages come from keeping these wonderful family dogs healthy. A wholesome dog means fewer vet costs, more time to spend with your dog, an extension of your dog's life, a contented, healthy dog. Less time spent at the veterinarian translates into more time and money for activities that both you and your American Bulldog can enjoy. A longer life expectancy translates into more years spent with your furry friend. 
Visit https colon slash slash the dash American dash bully dot com to learn more about these canine breeds. So, what can you do to maintain the health of your American bully? Here are some pointers. Pick the right diet for your bully. Feed them a nutritious diet that is suitable for their age, weight, and level of activity. Offer a lot of exercise. American bullies must regularly exercise to maintain their health and fitness. Ensure that they receive routine veterinary exams. Make sure to bring your American bully in for routine checkups, shots, and health examinations. These straightforward recommendations can help your American bully live a long, healthy life. Food and Diet – Micro Bully vs. Pocket Bully Microbreeds of exotic bullies, for example, need a little bit more protein in their diet than the typical dog. They need to have properly developed muscles because they are constantly growing. All American bullies need a high-quality, balanced diet, but the micros especially need one. American and foreign bullies typically consume the following foods. The bar diet. The bones and raw food diet, also known as the barf diet, is a favorite among American bullies. Raw meat, bones, fruits, and vegetables make up this diet. Because it resembles the diet of their ancestors, many people think that feeding their dogs a barf diet is the healthiest option. Some people think the barf diet is unhealthy because it contains too much fat and protein. Pros A healthy way to feed your dog is with the barf diet. It is abundant in nutrients that are vital for development and growth. Cons The bar feeding plan can be pricey. Making meals from scratch can take a lot of time. Raw foods While the barf diet includes cooked food, the raw diet does not. Raw meat, bones, fruits, and vegetables make up this diet. Because it closely resembles the diet of their ancestors, many people think that feeding their dogs a raw diet is the healthiest option. Some people think the raw food diet is unhealthy because it contains too much protein and fat. Pros A natural way to feed your dog is on a raw diet. It is abundant in nutrients that are vital for development and growth. Cons The raw food diet can be pricey. Making meals from scratch can take a lot of time. Pet food diet. The most popular kind of dog food is the kibble diet. Dry foods made of meat, grains, and vegetables make up this diet. Because it is convenient and simple to store, many people think that feeding their dogs kibble is the simplest method. Others believe that the kibble diet is unhealthy and less nutritive than other diets. Pros. The kibble diet is practical and simple to keep in storage. Cons Compared to other diets, the kibble diet is less nutrient-dense. Health issues may result from it. No matter what diet you decide is best for your American bully, you must discuss this with your vet. They can assist you in selecting a diet that is suitable for your dog's particular requirements. It is advised that American bully puppies and exotic bully puppies eat three to four times per day. They can transition to two meals a day as they get older. Two meals per day are recommended for an adult American bully. Their age, weight, and level of activity will all affect how much food they need. Pocket Bully versus Micro Bully, Intelligence and Temperament Between the Micro Bully and the Pocket Bully, there isn't much of a difference in temperament. Both dogs are witty, devoted, and loving. They make great guard dogs because they are also fiercely protective of their families. The main distinction between the two is that the pocket bully is more outgoing while the micro bully is more reserved around strangers. Both of these dogs are capable of learning maneuvers like putting up hurdles, turning around, sitting, begging, laying in wait, the micro and pocket bullies make wonderful family dogs. They get along with other animals and are kind to children. What the International Bully Coalition says about the micro and pocket bullies. The two most important registries for American bullies are the American Kennel Club and the International Bully Coalition. The International Bully Coalition, which distinguishes between standard, pocket, and micro American bullies, is the more well-known of the two organizations. 
The standard American bully, according to the International Bully Register, is a canine between medium and large size with a solid build. Their ears should be cropped or not cropped, and they should have a square-shaped head. The pocket American bully has a compact, muscular body and is between a small and medium-sized dog. Their ears should be cropped or not cropped, and they should have a square-shaped head. The micro-American bully is, according to the International Bully Register, the smallest size of the American bully is called the micro-American bully. They ought to have a lean, muscular body. Their ears should be cropped or not cropped, and they should have a square-shaped head. The standard American bully is the only variety recognized by the American Kennel Club. The pocket and micro are not recognized by the AKC. Where can I buy a micro bully versus pocket bully? Worldwide breeders offer exotic bullies and exotic bully puppies for sale. However, the U.S. is where they are most well-liked. Doing your homework is crucial when looking for a breeder. Make sure to visit the breeder's location and get to know the prospective puppy's parents. A trustworthy breeder should give you the following. A guarantee of health. A agreement, registrar's documents, evidence of immunizations and deworming, bully database. Any queries about the American bully breed can also be addressed by a reputable breeder. Finding a breeder who specializes in either the pocket bully or the micro bully is crucial when searching for these two breeds. By doing this, you can be certain that the dog you are purchasing complies with the International Bully Coalition standards. Finding a reputable breeder, some advice. Shorty bulls, particularly exotic bullies, have come under fire for passing themselves off as backyard and mixed breeders. When selecting a breeder, exercise extreme caution. The following advice may be useful to you. Examine the website and social media pages of the breeder. A trustworthy breeder ought to maintain social media accounts on top-notch websites. Information about the breeder, their facility, and their dogs should be available on the website. The social media accounts ought to be updated frequently with the dog's pictures and videos. All of your inquiries about the American Bully breed should be satisfactorily addressed by the breeder. You should be able to tour the breeder's facility. Additionally, a reputable breeder will have documentation for their dog's vaccinations as well as registration papers, U.S. Bully Registry, Bully Registries. The most crucial thing you can do when looking for a micro bully or pocket bully is to locate a reputable breeder. A happy bully is an exotic bully that is clean. In this manner, you can be certain that the dog you receive will live up to your expectations. Micro Exotic Bully Breed versus Micro Bully Breed the numerous types and names of the bully breeds are another wonderful but perplexing feature. These dog breeds come in different sizes, types, and even colors of fur. Bullies come in a variety of forms, making it challenging to distinguish between them. The micro bully is one kind of bully that has recently gained popularity. The smaller size of this bully breed is referred to as micro. What distinguishes a micro bully from a micro exotic bully, then? Under the exotic shorty class, a bully is a micro shorty. Exoti shorties are a novel breed of bully created by mating various generations of the shorty bull. The exotic shorty was intended to be a bully with all the best characteristics of the shorty bull, but in a more compact form. The exotic shorty is a bully that is shorter and more compact while maintaining the shorty bull's muscular build. Additionally, they have the distinctive shorty bull head. The size difference is the only distinction. The two breeds of dogs differ in size. Compared to micro exotic bullies, micro bullies are smaller. Build. Compared to micro bullies, micro exotic bullies are more muscularly built. Head. Compared to micro bullies, micro exotic bullies have a more shorty like head. Before purchasing a micro bully or micro exotic bully, do your research. By doing this, you can be certain that the American bully exotic you receive will live up to your expectations. Micro exotic bully versus micro bully temperament. Depending on the breeder, a micro bully or micro exotic bully's temperament can change. However, both breeds are typically recognized as being sociable, devoted, and loyal canines. 
One thing to keep in mind is that micro-bullies and micro-exotic bullies are more prone to injury due to their smaller size. Therefore, it is crucial to handle them carefully. Both breeds make wonderful family dogs and get along well with kids. But due to their diminutive size, they are not advised for households with very young children. Lifespan of micro-bullies versus micro-exotic bullies. A micro-bully can live up to 12 to 14 years with proper care, a healthy diet, and regular vet visits. The lifespan of a micro-exotic bully is comparable to that of a micro-bully. With the right care, they can live up to 12 to 14 years. Make sure you are prepared for the commitment before getting one of these amazing breeds because they can be your companion for many years. Other American breeds average lifespans. Let's compare the average lifespan of some other well-known American breeds now that you understand the distinction between a micro-bully and a micro-exotic bully. A scaled-down version of the standard American bully is the pocket bully. They have thick bone structures and are compact and muscular. A pocket bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. Large and muscly, the standard American bully is a breed of dog. They have large heads and thick bone structures. A standard American bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. A medium-sized dog, the classic American bully is. They have a thick bone structure and are muscular. A classic American bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. XL, an enormous dog, the XL American bully is. They have a thick bone structure and are muscular. An XL American bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. American shorties typically have shorter lifespans than their taller contemporaries. This also applies to bully breeds. So, compared to a pocket bully or a standard American bully, a micro bully or micro exotic bully will probably live shorter lives. Additional rare bully dog breeds. Additional exotic bully varieties include the following. Bully with a blue color, known as the blue exotic bully. They have thick bone structures and are short and compact. A blue exotic bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. The black exotic bully is a bully that is all black in color. They have thick bone structures and are short and compact. A black exotic bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. The brown exotic bully is a bully that is brown in color. They can be small to medium sized. A brown exotic bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. Bully with the color Merle, called the Merle exotic bully. They are renowned for having a distinctive mottled coat. A Merle exotic bully lives 12 to 14 years on average. Exotic bullies can be any color, just like exotic bulldogs. Rare breeds and common illness. Exotic breeds are more likely to experience a range of health issues as a result of selective breeding and inbreeding. The following are some exotic animals' typical health issues. Allergies. Skin conditions. Eye issues. Elbow and hip dysplasia. Heart condition. Cancer. Additionally, exotic breeds are well known for being more hostile than other breeds. It's because they were historically bred to fight. Facts. What distinguishes a micro bully from a pocket bully? A micro bully is a scaled down version of the standard American bully, which is the difference between it and a pocket bully. They have thick bone structures and are compact and muscular. The standard American bully is scaled down to become a pocket bully. They have dense bone structures and are compact and muscular. What distinguishes a micro exotic bully from a micro bully? A micro bully is a scaled down version of the standard American bully, which distinguishes it from a micro exotic bully. They have thick bone structures and are compact and muscular. The standard American bully is a smaller breed known as a micro exotic bully. They have dense bone structures and are compact and muscular. What distinguishes a standard American bully from a pocket American bully? A pocket bully is a scaled down version of the standard American bully, which is the main distinction between the two. They have thick bone structures and are compact and muscular. A big, powerful dog is a standard American bully. Their heads are large and their bones are dense. 
As a result, as you can see, micro bullies and pocket bullies have many distinctions and similarities. Choosing the best bully breed for them should be a top priority for dog lovers. Before making a choice, think about your way of life and your living situation. It's crucial to do your research before deciding which kind of bully is best for you.